matter is directed to the Minister for Public no. Transport, Minister for Roads and Road Safety, the Honorable Ben Carroll. The Andrews Labor Government is preparing for driver's license tests to resume by providing extra assessment centers, beginning online testing for learners and cheaper testing for uh, Victorians impacted by the suspension during the uh, pandemic. The government's $26.8 million package will make computer-based tests available online and further boost license testing capacity to turbocharge testing after it was put on hold to slow the spread of coronavirus. Testing will resume in metropolitan Melbourne when the city moves to step three of the roadmap to COVID normal, while online learner permit and hazard perception tests will be available from early next year with the work well underway to deliver these tests while keeping our high standards of road safety. Six more temporary testing sites will open by early in the new year to tackle the backlog and ensure testing can be carried out safely, bringing the total to 12 new sites across Melbourne since June and a further 180 licensed testing officers will be employed to support the expansion, taking the total number of new staff to more than 380. As Victoria continues towards COVID normal, Vic Road's customer service centers and testing sites across Melbourne will deliver up to 11,000 licensed tests and 16,500 computer tests per week once all new sites are open. The first priority under the stage resumption of license testing will be rebooking appointments which have been postponed due to the pandemic. Those with a postponed test will be contacted directly by Vic Roads to schedule a new appointment ahead of the expected resumption when Melbourne moves to the third step. Customers who had their appointments suspended due to the coronavirus pandemic will also have their booking fees refunded and all new appointment fees will be waived until bookings return to normal levels. Across Melbourne, the expected demand for services is around 125,000 licensed test appointments and 255,000 learner and hazard, hazard perception tests. This is addition to the 80,000 tests which were postponed earlier in the year. The action I seek from the minister is to provide my office an update on how many additional testing sites will be set up in my area of Western Metropolitan Region.